and once again still he should come out here one day and sign autographs he make a lot of money if he charged for it good old Bobby Lee and I'm gonna say to you damn But of course you come here just for a couple of reasons. To check out the sound of the rushing water behind these louvers. And for a run by. Okay, got what I came for. I'm out of here. Not really. Not a higher vantage point. And a distance, the frogmobile. I guess I'll go to one more spot for another light rail run by. Right down here at the crossing. And they'd be looking north with part of Lake Roland over there. And south. Over there is the site of the one time Holland Station, which I know you'd all like to see a picture of. So here it be. Of course, it's looking north from the south. Now I'm facing west, but that's how it looked. I'm about to get a southbound run by here. A train on the way to the Ravens game tonight. I'm overdue for a shave and a haircut. I thought I'll get one now though. I've got to shave out of it anyway. And in the overnight hours, Norfolk Southern brings their freights through here, going north to Cockeysville. I'd love to catch that, but the park's closed at night. In fact, on the map, this is shown as Norfolk Southern, not Baltimore Light Rail. How about that? And again, over here in the growth is the site of the one time Hollands Station, now reclaimed by nature. Nice view of Lake Roland. Over there, the Light Rail Causeway, Norfolk Southern Causeway, whatever. And it's about to get used as such. And this way, some more railroad history.
the light rail twofer over the Lake Roland Causeway. But not for the rail history as promised. Now sitting on the former right of way of the Northern Central's Green Spring branch, looking southeast. Through there would be the junction with the main line that the light rail runs on now. But the track was pulled up in 1963. In the opposite direction, to the northwest, now a trail. There is some track here, but not part of the Greenspring branch. Back in the late 60s, they were going to locate the Baltimore Streetcar Museum here in this area. And they parked some streetcars here in preparation for that. But due to vandalism, and opposition from the neighbors around here. They didn't locate it here after all, but put it in the Falls Road Valley down beneath North Avenue. But the cars were parked here back in the late 60s before being moved to North Avenue site. In fact, at Holland Station is where you used to transfer from one train to another and then go this way. Maybe you can tell this is a wider gauge track here. Baltimore had wide gauge streetcars. Only city in the country that had wide gauge streetcars. How about one more? A distance shot. Run this way, our streetcar track again. Everybody calls it a train track. But there are those of us who know better. At one time, there were three tracks going through here. Then became one about a mile and a half up and crossed over Falls Road on its way to Owings Mills and a connection with the Western Maryland line. Another wooden fence here or whatever. Don't know its purpose. Probably put there in the late 60s to protect the streetcars. But it didn't work. They were still vandalized. And if you heat up, this track ends. But something tells me this track won't be seeing a train or streetcar in a while. And here's the end of the track. The line, of course, keeps going to the north northwest. But I guess now we'll head back to the south southeast. and back at this spot again as he retrace our steps. Here to the side, some former supports for block signals. And one more over here. Well, there were three tracks through here, so they gotta have signals to protect them. Hard to imagine that now, the way this place looks. Once a very busy line, and for a while it was owned by the Western Maryland before they built their own line, Tellings Mills.
one more over the causeway. And back at our crossing again. Bus train's going south for the Ravens game. It'll start about an hour or two. Still hard to believe a train station once sat there and all that brush. It's there at the bend to the right where the Green Spring branch once bore off. And to think, at night this becomes Norfolk Southern. For all you Norfolk Southern heads out there, of which I am one, CSX, that's all I'm going to say on that topic. shave anyway. Dear Habit, signing off at Robert E. Lee Park. Until the next one.